Welcome back everybody, this is your boy Sean here, and this is Trucking Life with Sean. If you're new to my channel, my channel is all about trucking, that's why it's called Trucking Life with Sean. In today's video, I'm going to show you what it looks like inside my 2024 International. I'm going to give you a tour of how I live in here, this is what I drive in every day, this is where I sleep at, this is where I make my money at. Now you can organize your truck any way you want to, uh, mine is not uh, organized like a... Um, not a neat freak, but I do stay try to keep it clean. I believe clean is very uh, important. And, uh, but I just want to show you how I got mine organized and what I have all in my truck. So let's get into it. All right, this is of course the driver's seat. It's got the vinyl interior. I have the armrest on the side. Yeah. I uh, also have an armrest on this side right here if I want it. Never used that one actually. Then. Um, this is the uh, of course my steering wheel. There's the controls over there. And we'll go over the controls on another video. I just want to give you a tour of the uh, inside the truck. This right here is a tablet. This is how I communicate with my company. It's called a Samsara. Uh, this right here is a little magnet holder right here for my phone. I put my phone up against it. It's got a little magnet on the back side. It sticks right on it so I can see if anybody's calling and I can use my headset to answer it so it's hands free. This is my Garmin. GPS that I put right here. I don't want to block that mirror or that mirror, so I keep it right there low. I can still see out the windshield very well, and I still see my GPS controller. Up here, I keep me a pair of sunglasses on the ready. These are little red tags. In case I find a trailer that's bad, I'll red tag them. And then here's also my Trucking Live with Sean YouTube card right here that I pass out if I see somebody. Here's my Rosedale badge. Uh, if I need to get in and out of gates, I keep it right there so it's handy. This is my Garmin dash cam. Uh, this is what I use right here to record my videos. The Garmin dash cam is very important. Uh, that way if there's an accident or anything like that. Now my company also has a dash cam right here, but I want my own in case I want to edit videos or anything like that. I can use it off my Gar Garmin dash cam and then they have theirs. We don't have driver facing cameras in, at Rosedale, which is great because I wouldn't want to use that. Right, here's my CV up there. All right, now let's go up here, up top. Uh, right here, I have uh, right above me. I have these things right here. These are things I can contract with. If my hands get tired. If I want to do a little exercise while I'm driving, I can reach over and grab this, squeeze it. Uh, I have one on this side, and I have one over here on this side. Uh, it's just good for me and my trainee if we want to use it to get our arms a little better. We can. I also have a pass, pa pack of nitro gloves right here if I want to um, hospital gloves for fueling. Uh, and then up top, I automatically have another couple pair of gloves right here that I can grab. I have my flashlight handy, which is just the Nebo 12,000. 12,000 aluminum but it is a very bright flashlight. Uh, I have that right there. And then I got a couple toys that I bought my son that I'm going to give him when I get back. All right, then if you move over here to this side, this is the internet box inside the truck uh, for the Wi Fi. All right, then over here, I have another pair of gloves ready for my training in case he wants to get out. I also have a JBL speaker if I want to jam out. I got a Bluetooth radio right here, but sometimes I want to jam out. It's pretty loud, you know, if I'm at a rest area or if I'm working out. So I keep my JBL speaker right here. This side, I keep my, these are like grocery bags. They're good to have. And then I always got my pack of, I don't know why I got mustard right here, but I always keep my mustard because it's, I love mustard. I'm going to do about everything. So when I'm sitting over here. All right, uh, going down to the other side. On this side, I have another phone mount for my trainee. Well, he can mount his phone. If I'm over on that side and I want to watch little videos or something, I can hook it up right here. You can do that on the passenger side because you're not driving, right? All right, then I have my clipboard up here with my paperwork. Uh, also, I didn't mention it, but then my door over here is where um, I keep my, um, my permits and everything. It's right there at the door. All right, now if you lift up this seat right here, I have the seat cover right here. And we lean it forward. I've got all my cleaning stuff right there on the back of the seat. So it's really easy. I can just slide it forward, grab what I need to grab. Uh, under it, I have a table right here. Inside this bag, I have a blower that I can use to blow out my trailer. It's a battery powered blower. It's not that big, um, but I can blow out my truck when it gets dirty and whatnot. Going back over here to my driver's side. See, I told you my permit book is right here. This is where I keep all my permits. So when the DOT stops me for any reason, I've got everything that I need permit wise right here. Insurance card, everything ready to go off. So going back over here, I have a permit book right here in my door driver's side door have all my permits ready organized insurance card dot papers registration uh everything including extra logs whatever i may need so i'm dot ready boom as soon as they pull me over as soon as they pull me over the states i got bills on my dash permits right here let's get it let's see board i have my old little bitty bat right here in case somebody wants to get get with it you know what i'm saying 
Almighty Max, my little protector right there. Keep it right there behind my seat. Also, I have an Atlas, 2024 Atlas. Always good to have ready when you're ready to go. All right, this cabinet's not gonna be that pretty. I'm gonna open it up, hopefully nothing falls out, but bam. I've got soups, canned meat, vegetables, spam. You know, I got my like, grits, they don't sell grits up north. Canned barbecue, canned chicken, peanut butter, whatever I need. You notice there's no donuts or nothing like that in here. This is all good, pretty much good food here. I got, you know, vegetable soup. I got some bone broth. Uh, up top, up here, I've got, whoop, whoop, there goes the hot sauce. Some grits, carrots, green beans, corn. This right here. Spicy chicken, spicy chicken noodle soup. Spam. I have tuna, I have barbecue tuna, all kinds of different things. So that's what's in that cabinet. Oh, almost forgot the hot sauce. I'll put it back up. Don't oh, nothing happen to that. Love the hot sauce. All right, coming down, of course, I have my Lysol wipes and my hand sanitizer. I always keep, I like, and staying uh, infectious free out here is the best way to do it. Have my air fryer right here. Bam. Air fryer. It's not plugged up right now, but if I want to plug it up, I have plug ins right here on the wall. Not plugged up because I just got through cleaning it out, but I can plug it up right there. Boom, two plug ins. This light right here fell off of the day. I've got to get it back on there. It come off the wall. It's a little light here. It's hanging, but it will. Here's where I hang my Bluetooth headset. Bada bing, bada bam, right there. Um, all right. Up top here, I have three different totes. And this tote here, I have paper towels and I got a notepad and I got garbage bags. This tote here, it's got markers, extra plug-ins, extra cords, uh, lighters, and I always keep my boggin right here so when I get ready to go to bed, I can grow it, throw it over my eyes, I know right where it's at. I got extra Red Bull back there in the back and drink things, okay? To come over here to this side, you've got little push-on lights here you can turn on and off. And this tote here is my underwear drawer. I won't show that, there's my underwear drawer. Um, well, it's not bad. I mean, I keep my stuff clean, nothing like organized. It's, uh, see how the baskets just pull right out? I keep my underwear all folded up, good to go. This one's my sock sock drawer. And the end over there is paper plates and bowls. I don't know why I just got them right there. It's just really easy to get to when I need to get to it. All right, now on this side, there's the hot sauce again. I have a microwave. Also, bam, I got some plug-ins right there. Refrigerator right here, opens it up. It's got deep refrigerator, deep, it goes way back. It goes, you know, all the way back to that wall back there. So it's pretty deep, got a freezer up top. Also has a uh, table. It folds right out. And it has a deep drawer. Boom. I got some forks, some salt and pepper, my knife, a pair of sunglasses, a inspirational devotional for men. My last trainee bought me, it was really cool. Uh, it's a nice book. I'm gonna read some of that later. I'm gonna leave that out. All right, and then uh, up top, this is what I call my, it's got three baskets, doot, doot, and doot. Here is my medicine cabinet. I keep all my daily medicine in this little box here. Then I have an emergency bag right here. It's a little camel bag. It has everything from Tylenol to pepto -Bismo to uh, bug sting. I mean, everything I need is in this bag. And then I have uh, extra monitors for my sugar here. I have gluco tablets, fish oil, vitamins. Uh, and then the very back, I've got two more. Let me just pull it out and show you. I have these bags right here. See these? These are all full of vitamins and extra medicine. I get 90 days at a time. So I, I don't need to buy any medicine. If I get sick out here, I even got COVID tests in here. I'm ready to go. I got my own little pharmacy right here. Up here is like, uh, I have bowls. I have plastic bags. This is my cooking stuff. I have a little pot here that I can plug up. Oh, that needs to be clean. Uh, I have, you know, my temperature meat checker. I have um, spatula, stuff like that. And up top, some reason up here, I just put all my shorts. I don't know why I do that, but I do. All right, this is the top bunk up here. This is where the trainee would sleep. He's got AC. To get up there, he puts his foot here, and then he grabs on up here, and then he pulls on up. So let's go up here and check it out. All right, up here you can see, it's way down there. All right, this is where I have my dirty clothes, um, and this is where I have my shower basket. When I don't have a trainee with me, both of the, or when I have a trainee with me, both these go down here at the bottom, and then I put two pillows. Notice I got pillows on each side. So I just put the pillows on top of the bag. I got my feet propped up. Super, super comfy. Way to go. You know what I'm saying? So there's that. All right. So then, now under the bed here, I've got a five-gallon bucket, which is a toilet that needed to be. It's got toilet paper. It's got extra bag, uh, toilet, like these thick bags that you can put in it with a toilet seat. I could have to. I close these curtains. And if I needed to use the bathroom, I could. 
Don't use it inside the truck. I usually get out. I have to get out between two trailers or whatever. I only had to use it three times this year, but it's good to have it when you need it. Got a fold-out chair right there, extra water bottles, stuff on that side. And then up under the bed, so you have this little bracket right here. This comes out, and this is for a TV mount if you want to mount a TV on it right here. And then you can just slide it right back in, boom. Uh, you have an antenna right there. You got another cigarette lighter right there. Over here on the bottom is where I keep my, I hang my clothes up. So you can see that. And there's that. So try to stay organized the best I can in here. Access from outside, but I'm not going out there because it's hot. If you open the access to the bottom, inside that, of course, I've got a um, fire extinguisher. i got my triangles. you got to have that. That's DOT. Uh, but I also have like a winter bag. I don't need it up here uh, with all my emergency winter stuff. I have like a um, kind of like a bug out bag, a little prepper bag in there for whatever reason I may need. Who knows? I try to be prepared. I have extra blanket. I have extra sheets. I have... Um, Whatever I need, I try to have. I actually don't have extra sheets. I need to get some extra sheets. I do have extra blankets. Um, uh, and then I have a fishing pole. I have a tackle box under there. I've got uh, all kinds of different things. I've got some uh, dumbbells that I can work out with. Uh, and I've got this uh, compression tool that I use to work out. Actually, it's on the other side of that seat over there. Uh, that Noah, one of my other trainees, gave me, which is great. It's great for the arms. You just press it back and forth and down. It's pretty cool. Uh, so there, that's the mini tour of my truck. I hope that helped you out. If it did, smash that like button. Appreciate you watching. Hey, if you're looking for a company that you can drive for, OTR, it treats you to respect, that gets you home every week. Yeah. Take a 34-hour break at home, uh, then you need to call Rosedale Transport. As long as you're in our drive lanes, you get home every week. If you're not, they get you home about every two weeks. But uh, our drive lanes are Georgia, Florida, Alabama, Kentucky, uh, Arkansas, Texas, Illinois, uh, Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina. I mean, there's a lot. Minnesota, North Dakota, pretty much pretty much a lot of places but anyway if you can call the number on the bottom of the screen i'm sure you're seeing it 706-226-1003 ask for tina tell me boy sean sent you you get a 4500 dollars sign-on bonus if you've got at least six months experience they'll hook you right on up okay uh great dispatchers treat your respect they also hire new drivers right out of school it's hard to get in there there's only three trainers so we're a smaller company i'm one of the trainers uh you have to be patient as you try to get on right now i'm booked up for the next two months uh, but if you are a new driver, still call. They may have another trainer available for you. If not, you can quest me if you don't mind waiting or if you're just getting your CDLs. But if you are an experienced driver, you need to call now. Let's get trucking. Let's truck off with Sean. Let's get it.